You rely on technology daily to connect, communicate, and serve up information in your business. The last things you need are IT disruptions which lead to downtime, lost revenue, and stress. At TeamLogic IT, we provide comprehensive services to manage your information technology. For more information, go to www.lafayettecomputer.com. Hi, welcome to the Gunner's Vault. A lot of people will tell you, don't try this at home. Me? I'm going to tell you, as long as you're legal and not stupid, yeah, try it at home. ACR. It's a cool little gun. It's a real cool little gun. Uh, 223, 556, blah, 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 blah. I know there's differences. They're slight. But I'm going to say choose one because it does. Uh, if, you, if you've been anywhere, you know that the Army had a little thing where they're looking for a new carbine to replace the M4. All right, well, the ACR, made by Remington, was in the competition. The competition has since been canned, but this thing was in the competition. It's a cool little gun. Uh, it's it's really neat, man. Let's just go through some stuff. For one thing, folding stock. That's kind of cool. You know, everybody wants a folding stock because you know it makes it smaller. Uh, you can get the railed version, which is the enhanced version. We're talking civilian versions now, not the Remington. We're talking the Bushmaster version. So you can get either this one, which is more like an MOE type forearm, or you can get the rail version, which is the enhanced forearm. I uh, don't have one of those right here right now, but it's got rails. You seen an AR? It's got rails. Yeah, it's like that with rails. All right, uh, everything on this thing's ambidextrous, save the ejection port. It's always going to eject out this side, but everything else is ambidextrous. Mag release, mag release, safety, safety. This is kind of cool. This little switch right here, fold, fold open. Yeah, that's sweet. I like that. I like it a lot. And it's ambidextrous. You can do it on the other side. This is the bolt charging handle. Ambidextrous. You put a little screwdriver in there, push down, comes out, put it down. You can point it either up or point it down on either side. I kind of like it facing up. Personal preference. I mean, some people like doing this kind of thing because it's high speed. Yeah, whatever. I'm not high speed. I'm old. I'm pretty slow. I'm a uh, low speed, high drag now. Yeah. Eh, it happens. Age. Alright, check it out though. Cheek rest. It moves. It only moves about a quarter inch, but that quarter inch makes a world of difference. It does. Uh, it comes standard with Magpul uh, sights, flip up sights, front and rear. Uh, they're okay. I like them, but I don't like the fact they're plastic. I just do not trust plastic sights. If this were my rifle, which, which it is, I'd change them out, which I'm gonna. Alright, now here's some cool things about this rifle. Uh, it's got a quick change barrel. And when I say quick change barrel, I mean a stupid quick change barrel. Take your forearm off, which usually is pretty easy, but this is a newer type rifle, so it's a little tight. Push this down, push it out to the side, pop, your barrel comes right out. Put your new barrel in, squeeze it down, push it, fold it, Put this back on, you got a new barrel. Now, they have a concept of caliber change on this, quick caliber change. I say concept because they haven't released anything for it yet. I keep hearing, oh, 300 blackout barrels are coming, 545 barrels are coming, oh, this, that, blah, 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 blah. So far, it's 556 or 223. That's it. So, you know, if anybody says, hey, man, I've got an ACR and 300 blackout. I'll call him a liar, but don't believe it until you see it. Alright, check it out. It's uh, piston operated. That's cool. It's got two positions. It's got unsuppressed and suppressed. You can tell it's S, suppressed. U, unsuppressed. It could mean something else, maybe in a foreign language, but, you know. This is America. We're calling it unsuppressed. Unsuppressed. Uh, what else? What else is cool about this? Oh! It's full auto. Yeah, we made it full auto. Because, well, 
that's what we do. We needed something 223 to test on, you know, just to test various things, cans, stuff like that, brakes. So we decided, well, you know, not many people have a full auto ACR. Let's do that. So we did that. Uh, one of the cool things about this, and this is really, really kind of a neat thing. They tell you not to lube it. Yeah, I kid you not. They tell you not to lube the bolt. Uh, since this one's full auto, we do lube it. But uh, you can actually get away with not lubing the weapon. There we go. There's a trick to taking this one apart since it is full auto. There's your bolt and carrier, as well as your uh, recoil spring. We're going to go over that here in a second. Notice this, though. That's non-reciprocating. That's cool. I prefer the SCAR to the ACR, but I do not like the reciprocating bolt handle. Now on the other hand, this does not have a forward assist. If you just push the bolt handle forward, it's just going to go forward. On the SCAR, you push it forward, you're actually pushing the bolt forward as well. That's cool. Now, uh, carrier, just, really it's just a big block. It's going to be uh, standard for any caliber they come out with. It's square, it's got the recoil assembly. You may have to change out your recoil assembly, but I think you can get away with this if they change the gas orifices in the barrel. We'll find out when they come out with different uh, different uh, calibers. They will have to change the bolt, but changing the bolt head is pretty easy. Pull it in, blah, 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 and you're together again. All right, don't look at that. That's a full auto mod. You can't do that unless you have a sock. We have a sock. Pop that in there. All right, on this one again, it's uh, been kind of modded a little bit, so it actually takes a little bit of doing to get it back together again. Because you got to get that bar over the top of the block. Hmm. You know what? What the hell? Chris, cameraman, bring the camera in a little bit. Well, this gun is relatively new. I say relatively. We have shot the out of it. Uh, but it's still kind of tight in some areas. The front pin right here, the takedown pin, is really tight. You actually need a tool to take it apart. I don't like that, but you know, it is what it is. So, it's much easier to put it together with our full auto mods, taking that pin out, but I can do it with this way. All right, check it out. Uh, there's really one thing I don't like about this gun. And what I don't like about it, I really, really don't like. You'll notice this is not a pencil profile barrel. That's pretty thick. You'll notice this, the vast majority of this weapon is, you know, polymer. Except for when you get up in here. Your barrel, your gas block, stuff like that. Well, let me tell you. That creates a nose-heavy condition. You pick it up, you shoulder it up, it feels good, it lines up well, especially since you can adjust your cheek rest, but it lines up well but then you start doing this because it is so damn nose heavy I much prefer the scar to this the scar is light a lot lighter it's you can whip it around pick it up do what you gotta do put it down you're good to go this if I'm walking around like this which let's face it I don't have a need to do that anymore I'm not in the military anymore but if I'm say walking around like this fatigue's gonna set in because I'm holding this whole front end up. It shouldn't be like that. You should have a counterbalance to it so your weight is in the middle so you're holding it, you know, you're holding the vast majority of your weight with both hands. In this one, you're always fighting the gun doing this. So you're actually kind of holding this down and you're holding this up which creates a weird condition. Now I did say that uh, this was a Magpul design, the Masada. Uh, Bushmaster bought it and pissed off the entire world when they charged you know several grand for it. Is what it is. Check it out. You can tell it's a Bushmaster design by the little Bushmaster emblem. The Bushmaster emblem is actually on here in a couple places. It's kind of like the Easter egg hunt. Let me show you something cool though. You fold it up right back here, Bushmaster emblem, and right here it's a secret compartment. It's the Masada stash. What can we have in there? Well, me, I like to put bubble gum in it. 
Well, you can put whatever you want in there. If you're a smoker, put cigarettes in. If you're a fisher, you know, maybe a survival kit. You know, line, hook, stuff and worm, stuff like that. Uh, you can put whatever you want in there. But it's not very tactical because it rattles. And, you know, when you're out humping and you're lifting your heavy-ass front-end gun up, you don't want your gun to do this. Because then the enemy will know, oh man, he's got a Masada with some gum in it. So, you know, that's one of those things. Uh, Alright. What else is cool about this gun? This gun is a black rifle. Like an AR. Like a, well, some of the scars. You know what that means? It pisses off liberals. That's the best thing about this gun. It'll guarantee that you're going to piss off your liberal friends. You bring them to your house. Say, hey, uh, Ted. Because, you know, a lot of the liberals are named Ted. Because that's a non-offensive name. You go, hey, Ted. Look at this. And they go, eee. Because, you know, they're afraid of rifles. Because they don't know what the hell they're talking about. So, you know, show them this video. So, it's... It's not... It's, it's, it's a tool. And if I had a hammer... It would be about the same thing, except for I couldn't put bubble gum in the hammer. I can put bubble gum in this. Of course, this, you know, is a few thousand dollars more expensive than a hammer. But I guarantee you, if I had a nail, I took this four end off, I could hammer the crap out of the nail with this gas block. No doubt about Oh, I said a bad word. It's a children's show. Mm, my bad. Sorry, America. Uh... It's a, it's a good rifle. It really is. I, I think if you have your heart set on it, buy it. I'm not going to tell you not to. If you don't have your heart set on it and you're on the fence, buy a SCAR. SCARs are cooler. If you don't want to keep up with the Joneses, you want a good gun, buy an AR-15. They're great. They're cheaper. They're proven. You know, you don't need gas pistons and ambidextrous control, especially if you're a righty. You don't need ambidextrous controls. You don't need bubble gum storage. You don't need anything. I mean, direct gas impingement on a sub $1,000 AR, you'll have just as much fun shooting it as you would this. Guaranteed. Plus, you got a lot more money to spend on ammo. It's a promise. That having been said, we're going to go out and shoot this because we can. Rolling. All cameras rolling. ACR, take one. Y'all rolling? Yeah. Work. Close, close, close. Oh, up. ACR, take two. Ready? Ready? Mm-hmm. ACR, take three. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Good? Good, roll. Okay, go, Matt. Rolling. ACAR take 500. That's pretty much. Yeah. Hi, kids. Well, you may have noticed we had a couple technical malfunctions with the gun. Well, here's the thing. You know, we're a working shop, we build stuff, we work on stuff, we make stuff. Sometimes stuff doesn't work. And in this case, this just didn't work. This video has actually been about five months in the making. I've been trying to get this ACR to work full auto and it's just like, ah, what little hair I got, I'm pulling it out. So we kind of just kind of gave up on it and said, screw it, we'll do it live, you know, we'll shoot how we shoot. And it ended up, you know, not jamming, just getting light strikes. It has to do with the timing of the full auto sear that I made. Uh, but at this point, we kind of said, screw it. We have other projects to do. So I'm, I'll probably get back to it eventually, but it's, it's pissing me off. So it won't be anytime soon. That having been said, it's no fault of the gun. The regular ACR is a great gun. I mean, I like it. It's a pretty cool thing. The problem is... It's really, really hard to make full auto. And we don't have any Remington full auto parts for it. So, I'll you know, chalk that up to a lesson learned. 
Uh, you know, just sometimes, some things don't work. Covering up my full auto mods here. It's not that I don't trust y'all, but I think the GF might have a cow. Oh look, look, Chris almost tripped over a machine gun. <laughs> ACR take one. Y'all rolling? Yeah. Work. ACR take three. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, go, Matt. Rolling. ACAR take 500. Pretty much. Yeah. 